Hi everyone, Molten here and welcome back. So in this video, I just want to explain to you exactly what a stem game or a model game is, how it can be helpful to improve your opening repertoire and also improve your overall chess study. For example, a model game or a stem game is simply a really well played game which demonstrates some key ideas in the opening that you play or even key ideas in certain middle game structures or demonstrating some end game technique. It's essentially a reference you can use later on. So from the recent Olympiad, I ran into a couple of useful gems, which I thought I would add into my own repertoire. Uh, for example, this was one really well-played game by Abdul Satarov against Karawana in a particular uh, London line, which I play with the black pieces. And the game actually ended up in this particular position. And if we do a search, we see that there were actually no games reached here apart from one played by Yukesh with the white pieces which ended up going pawn to d5. And this was actually quite interesting, this position, because when I checked it with the engine, in the game, uh, black played pawn takes, but he missed a really good opportunity to get the advantage with knight takes d5 here, a very hard to play move. And I'm assuming Gukesh's idea was to play knight takes f7, with the idea that if king takes bishop c7 picks up the queen. But what happened what could have happened instead was the move pawn to a6 in the, and here black has a clear advantage. So this is perhaps what Abdul Satsarov had in mind in this position but uh, this wasn't meant to be and it turned out that in the game uh, Karawana opted for just a simple knight takes d3 instead and the game sort of fizzled out into a more quiet middle game structure with the isolated queen's pawn. So you could find games with uh, particular structure such as this and if it is um, quite useful then you can save it for later to demonstrate how to play when you get into these certain type of positions and for me anyway I find it a lot easier to refer to uh, opening lines or games from specific players instead of referring to a specific opening file or a specific variation because they can get incredibly confusing uh, also, when you're picking out these games, I would say that don't get into the trap of uh, picking them out based on your opponent's rating or based on the result of the game. Just because one player lost the game, it doesn't mean that um, most of the game was well played, especially if they lost it from a irrelevant blunder later on um, in the game. Uh, likewise with rating. Uh, the rating doesn't matter so much, but obviously the higher the rating, the more likely that it was a very well played game. Uh, that's pretty much all for this video. Um, I hope you uh, use that and keep that in mind a, a little bit more when you're doing your chess study. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next tips video.